my take on technology. So I have a, a love-hate relationship with technology, just like, I don't know, I think most people do. We live in a world right now where everything is just so easy to come by. I mean, let's take an example. You sit down and you watch Netflix. You can literally, you know, go through thousands of movies, whether it's like Amazon Prime or any TV service that our parents or their parents could only dream of because back in the day, Friday night comes along and you don't have Netflix. You actually have to go either to the movies, yeah, you have to move your ass from the couch and get out of the house. Or if you don't want to go to the movies or you're too broke for the movies, you go to a VHS rental and then you rent a little, I don't know, a VHS tape or a CD, old school style. You rent it and then you have to return it the next morning or the day after, which is, to be honest, pretty painful because I remember as like, I don't know, a young teen, how many times I forgot to return my VHS and it was horrible. And obviously it cost me extra money because, you know, I'm a lazy bum. But I mean, let's just ignore that for a second and let's think about the other stuff that technology brings. It brings connection. Yes, we're super connected now. I'm, you know, I have my mom on Facebook. I have my aunties on Facebook. Everybody's connected. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. I can literally find you and chat to you and Skype you and you can see my face. And it's great from, you know, one perspective because back in the day you had to call someone and they had to be physically home or, you know, ring them or on their Nokia mobile, which is actually not that bad. I felt like at some point we had a good amount of connection and then I feel like we got a bit too connected to the point where I'm on the train today, I take a look around and I see all those faces just tucked in their phones or tablets. No one even looks at each other anymore. And it's kind of scary because obviously now you have other stuff coming in like virtual reality and then you have there is even an experiment of like some people who actually have gone uh, the longest record I actually found out the other day the longest record for virtual reality of actually being in a virtual reality is two weeks two weeks you're in a reality that's not real that's crazy and I mean it's from one perspective it's good you know some people can't walk so they want to go use virtual reality like to imagine exploring the world or something like that good for them but for the regular folks I mean what about nature what about going out it's crazy to see on the news that there's like all these disasters hurricanes everything is going on and we still don't want to even I mean climate change is a whole topic that I can ramble about for hours and hours but no one seems to care but instead we're just focusing on the new iPhone. I, I mean, I don't even know. I, I mean, I'm not very tech savvy, but all these iPhones look the same to me to this point. Just everything, you know, all phones basically do the same thing. Back in the day, you could use a phone to have a co phone call conversation. That's why it's called a phone. Now you can send a text, you can order food, you can watch movies. There's nothing you can't do. And I mean, it's really good, but it's just kind of crazy all I'm saying is technology is great but I feel like we just need to be a bit more conscious and appreciate the real world because you know the environment is a precious thing and we might or maybe not us but our kids or or our kids kids may not have it like we do now may they may just be all stuck behind a screen I mean kids don't even go out and play as much anymore because you have all these tablets I mean I, they're you know it's it's fun and it's sad that future generations may not experience things like we do now because we're just too overly connected and it scares the crap out of me so yeah that's my take on technology and I'm done